What is up, boys? Uh, we are back here with another OTS turn and pack 23 opening. There's about between 30, 40, 50. I don't know how many packs there are in here. I grabbed a handful, but there should be uh, some ulties in here because, I mean, they're from the same box that I've previously opened. So I think we're due two to three more ulties. Hopefully, three. Anyways, let's see what ulties we can do. We haven't pulled a Curry Kara yet. Uh, so, yes, hopefully a Kurikara, and we are going to be having to do the pack trick here, unfortunately. I don't like doing it, but the uh, the promos, or I shouldn't say promos, the high rarity stuff is in the front, so it's kind of unfortunate. I don't know why they did that too. Um, I, I think they changed it in this pack in particular as well, but uh, anyways, Dinomorphia intact, okay. As far as value, all the ultis in this set are kind of medio mediocre. Uh, and then all the super rares besides one. Pulling the rug. Uh, are pr There we go. Pulling the rug uh, are pretty mediocre as well from what I remember. But there are some decent commons. I mean, we have Dark Bull and DD Crow. They're not valuable uh, as of yet, but they are pretty nice reprints. Because people do go crazy for the OTS copies or versions of of staples now i'm not saying dark hole is a staple dd crow definitely is but you know it's still a collectible hell yeah there, there we go first dd crow and then a what what chimera tg trident launcher again all right but yeah people do like past format staples in the ots packs as well is what i've noticed like uh for example Oh, I don't think I pulled this before. Rescue Ace Preventer. I've only pulled uh, Rescue, I think, from this pack. So that's nice to see. Seeing another... Uh, some more variety, basically. Um, but uh, anyway, so... There is a, a card in OTS Turn and Pack 13. D Prison, Dimensional Prison. That uh, people currently are buying out. Or have been buying now for a while technically and it's at five bucks as a common so and it's not doing anything in at least in the uh, normal format right so people do go crazy for past formats stuff in these uh, tournament packs uh for sure for sure anyways let's see what uh what ulties we get here as far as like value on the ulties I, i'm pretty sure curry kara is the most valuable if i'm if i'm not mistaken but if not, it's probably going to be enemy controller. Um, but I'm, my money is on on Curry Kara because it's it's a waifu, right? Like waifus just t tend to do a lot better in the market. Also, it's a monster. Monsters tend to do better in the market. Um, but uh, we will see. I guess maybe I can look it up at the end of the video here. We got Kook Clock, Cock Kluk, something like that. Um, anyways, okay, so, come on, ulti, Supreme King Gates Infinity, Odatic Water Lily, and then Dynamorphia Intact. These Dynamorphias, actually, the, the reprints are probably decent, because Dynamorphia is just like a, like a, a hidden gem, I, I, I would say, because they, if they pop off, they pop off, it's really hard to, to clear a board with, uh, with the Dynamorphius in play, right? The the Dino or whatever the hell his name is 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 really good. I haven't pulled this either. TG Star Guardian. That looks pretty cool. I ain't even gonna lie. A lot of the TG cards look pretty badass, but I I don't know. I don't know why I don't pick it up. To be honest, they're probably not even that good, even with all the newest support that they've gotten. Um, because I haven't seen a lot of people, you know, top with it. Uh, at least not in my recollection, at least. Uh, yeah, so, Rescue Ace prevent her again. Noise. Uh, we got two DD Crows so far, and I think two Dark Holes. And that that is about even, actually. All right, so, I don't know, 20 packs left. That is crazy. No ulties so far. I kind of also like opening these OTS packs because it's so fast to do it. Like, it's, it's really easy to just open, uh, I mean, 100 of these in under 20 minutes. And I love the time value of that because, uh, I mean, yeah, I can knock out videos quickly, first of all. And also, I mean, 
in some tournament packs, the pulls are actually pretty decent. So, I mean, expect a lot more on the channel. I might buy some of the old ones if I can find. I, I kind of want to go back to OTS tournament pack 16, but it's either... I mean, I I'm pretty sure those are not non-existent anymore. Because I haven't seen any listings for 100 packs uh, sealed. And also, if there are any, it's probably going to be really expensive. Because that's like the best OTS pack. Um... From what I remember, because it had Forbidden Droplet, it had Alt Art Cyber Dragon, and it had... I mean, Firewall Dragon isn't that good, but the other two were really good. Uh, Supreme King Gay Zero, Prevent Her. Okay. So, goddamn, no no alties. I hate the spreads of this, too, because it always makes me worried, right? Like, we're winding when we're winding down, and I don't see any alties... But then all of a sudden, I, I, I pull like two ulties back to back or some some weird shit. But it does worry me, man. TG Hyper Librarian, EMI, and then uh, Ku Klux. There, well, there was a card that I kept pulling in the last video that I'm not seeing anymore. I think it was like eight copies in the last video. So it's good that I'm not seeing that anymore. Um, watch Wrath, watch Chimera, and then Intact. But uh, is that the only Dinomorphia card? In this set, it's kind of odd because I don't think even around this time Dinomorphia was doing anything uh, or got new support. But, I mean, I could be wrong. It's been I don't know eight months since this pack came out, roughly, because every tournament pack has like a four month uh, span between it. Around you know, uh, TG EMI, Shino Birds Calling, and then uh, Trident Launcher. Okay. They got some links too, huh? It's not just synchros. That's yeah. The TGs are pretty interesting. They they look cool. Uh, Dark Hole, nice. Excel something or other. Labyrinth, Stovey, Toby. That's the first one I've pulled too. Okay. So I'm guessing we're do some uh, Stovey, Torby. That's such a weird name, man. Yeah. What the heck is is this archetype actually based off? Uh, what is that, uh, not Cinderella, what is the one with the, the Beauty and the Beast, with the talking appliances, is, is that correct? Um, because if it is, I, I, I can kind of see why people like the archetype then, but at the same time, it has uh, too many waifus, and it's trap-based, you know, I ain't about both lives. DD Crow, what, chim what Chimera, pulling the rug, nice, we need, we need more of this, because it's, um, Five bucks, like it's not to it's not expensive to say the least. But I mean, the more five dollar cards we pull, the better, right? The more money we make back. Soul of the Supreme King, okay. Stovey Torby needs to get a little bit more representation here, and actually, so does TG Star Guardian. Um, I don't think there is a uh, what's it called a a, a uh, token in this pack, so that's kind of unfortunate. I usually look forward to the the tokens in these tournament packs because uh, I mean the, what how many packs right have have tokens not not many and it's kind of cool and, and they're usually higher like foils like super rares which is really cool emergency that's the first one in this opening pulled quite a bit in the other one though so it is okay we don't see that many I want to see more Torbies in TG Star. Guardians, and of course, pulling the rugs, because I want to get like more more even spreads um, than not. Dinomorphia intact. In, in Is it intact? No, intact. Okay. And then uh, <clears throat> about 10 more packs. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, man, my voice is hoarse. So I did a, a live stream, like a two-hour live stream yesterday, uh, opening up some packs, and you guys were fun in that. And then after that, I went like four hours streaming on, for, on League of Legends with some friends. So my voice is like shot. Oh, man, it hurts. Emergency! Exclamation mark. Come on, man, we're winding down. We need some ulties here. I pulled three. I pulled one off camera. It was a, it was a uh, what's it called? Enemy controller. So, I mean, we are due some ulties. Three at least to make it a six ulti box. But... But uh, we shall see, because I have had a 4 ulti box before, and that always, you know, it hurts. Rescue Ace Preventer. Alright. Come on, man. Let's see the ultis. Curry Kara. 
we need curry car. I, that's I, I, honestly my cheese as well because I already have two enemy controllers, and like I said, the the monsters just do better in the market long term. The the spells have to really be good, like uh, Forbidden Droplet, right? For for that or Infinite Impermanence. Ooh, OTS pack seven T might actually be worth opening. Okay, so now this is like the tenth from the box. That is crazy. Overrepresented, I'm sure. Faux show. Okay. Uh, TGEMI, Dragon, Dark Worm, pulling the rug. Let's go. But uh, yeah, come on. Just give me three Kurikaras and I will be happy. Uh, Supreme King Gate Zero, what's Chimera, Soul of the Supreme King. Although now that it's a QCR, I mean, I think it was, yeah, it was a Starlight as well. The ulti is probably not valuable, like, at all, and it's probably going to go down in value even more. But uh, pulling, pulling ultis, pulling cards in general, is just the better experience versus buying them. Because if you buy them, it's just kind of like, you forget. It's not memorable. It's not memorable at all. Uh, Soul of the Supreme King. Oh, man, two more packs. I do have some more packs in the wings that I might do shorts on, or I might just open them up in this. This is an ulti, though. This looks like an ulti, at least. The the back is... Yeah, the back is kind of off. Um, so it's either an ulti or a really damaged super rare. It looks like it's an ulti. It's a spell, so it's enemy controller. Oh, man. Oh, that is so miscut. Oh, look at the bottom. That It's got a... It's got a... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really miscut. You can definitely notice it better on the back there. With the yeah, that that is terrible, terrible. But at least we pulled an ulti. That is ulti number four in here. Let's see if this is another ulti. That would be kind of dope. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so so Supreme King Gate Zero, uh, Shinobird's Calling, and then TG Trident Launcher. All right, boys. So uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I wasn't as careful this time around, but we got a decent amount of dark holes here actually. Uh, whoa, yeah, that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, three, six, and then three, five. So five DD Crows, and then uh, six Dark Holes, which, you know, it's that's about even. And then only one ulti enemy controller. I will be probably doing shorts in, in for these, uh, for this opening, for this pack, I should say. Uh, so hopefully I can pull six ultis in the box, but uh, we shall see. Catch you guys in the next one.